Package Chew with Crick Flicks. And um, I am happy to say that my pictures finally came in the mail today. My daughter wasn't kidding me. But, see this stack right here? This, more than, probably all the way up to here, is the day she was born. So, I have to go through all of these and decide. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. I'm going to show some layouts tonight, but they are not. I just got these in the mail today. The other ones my daughter sorted through. More came, but anyway, um, bottom line is I am going to show you a layout, and it will not have pictures in it because I have to figure out where I'm even going to begin on what I do have there. Um, the paper stack that I'm using is Color Kaleidoscope by the Paper Studio. And the papers that I chose from here are probably all gone. Doo 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 doo! Well, I can show you the colors that I got. I've got all these paper stacks out here, sitting out here, because these are all ones that I've got a bunch of clip art um, for that I'm going to be using. And by the way, a lot of you have been asking me where I got the clip art. I downloaded more today. Um, it's again, it's called Magic Maker. One word M A G I C M A K E R hyphen crafts with an S C R A F T S dot com. That's where I got this clip art, and I bought over 2,000 images, not 2,000 packages. Each package comes with at least five images, which would mean it was still at least 400 packages. Um, I've been downloading now for a week, but, excuse me, um, I absolutely love it, love, love, love it. Um, a lot of really cute stuff, and I'm putting together pack, um, theme packets, and I've got my desk back here lined up with all sorts of different themes. You know what, I might be able to use this one that I'm going to work on now. This is a 4th of July um, that I'm going to be working on. And let me get this off of here and show you what I've done. Um, again, I made the paper mats. Pa the, you know what? Let me check in these pictures real quick and see if there's any 4th of July in here. Because this is her first year. And if I look towards the end here, there might be some 4th of July. Okay. Oh my goodness, what a cutie. Oh, that's my little Isabelle. Oh, she's such a doll. Such a good baby. I'm just looking here real quick to see if I have anything that would be the fourth. And none of the outfits that she has on looks like the fourth. But I'd be willing to bet some of them in here. Well, I'm going to do these, and if I can find some from the fourth in there, then I'll put them in here. Um, for the first thing I did is I used this red and white print for my page itself. Then I have a six inch piece of the blue open stock that I said I really like that's um, Recollections from Michaels. And then I have a five inch piece of red and a four inch piece of white. That's the pieces I'm going to put together first. Boy, this looks like a repetition of last night's. Um, kind of is, but um, I guess, you know, I guess I, I'm, I'm okay with it because I'm going to use it anyway. Even though it kind of looks like it. Don't care. Don't care. I am so tr going to try so hard to get these books caught up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it to this first line on the bottom. Towards I don't want it all the way to the bottom, so I'm going to follow that line. That's one of the things that I do like about the paper with lines in them. They make it so easy to keep it straight. I'm going to go right above it so it kind of looks like a faux stitching. 
And look at that, how perfect. I've got the white um, dotted line at the bottom and the white dotted line right along the top. And no, I did not plan it that way. I'd like to say I did, and you just go, oh my God, is she awesome. But I didn't. It was a mistake. Not, I shouldn't say a mistake. It wasn't planned that way. It just happened to come out like that. You know? Ooh, this one's working the same way. Yes, I did it on purpose. I did all of this. I am brilliant. The white stitching is above and below. There, I'm going to go ahead and say I did it on purpose. How do you like that? That's changing my tune, isn't it? But, let me see. Um, I'm going to put a couple clouds up here before I put my clouds on. Or um, before I put my photo mats on. Which I told you, again, I don't use photo mats. Um, so I'm in the doghouse because I'm using photo mats. Uh, well only for the next few layouts because I've already got them done and the pictures that I got today in the mail aren't going to fit the themes that I did. I don't know how they couldn't fit since it's her first year you would think I hit it somewhere along the line but okay then what I did um, from that same vendor where I got all my clip art she has these borders. Now, the first border that I cut out, I tried to do the trace and, and release. These weeds and, and things are so fine. So fine. They did not cut out. I do not like the way this one came out, so I'm going to show you what I did on the second one. The only reason I'm going to use it anyway is because I put it on a white background so you cannot tell. And when I put it on the white background, you still get that effect. There's the stone and the greenery and the flowers. Okay? And the images I'm going to use are these two little girls. One's holding a windmill and one's holding a balloon. And I'm just going to be putting them... I think I'll put her over on this side. Um, that piece didn't come out real good between her legs so makes it look like her legs are sewed together don't like that look there it's gone now and let's see we're going to throw this on here and here and here and pop dot stuck to me and I'm going to pop dot that on this end and again if I do happen to find some pictures of either my Isabelle or her sister or brother that are from the 4th of July. I will add them to this layout. I will use I will use those pictures on here. But there's a little piece that I'm not liking sticking out in here. This didn't cut out good at all. I did not like it at all. So the border pieces I gotta figure out um, how I'm gonna use them because this grass definitely does not cut out good at all. All jagged. All right, now I think I'm going to put, let's see, I better put my photo mats on first so I can see where I'm going to stand her. And I'm not going to put these on straight. I'm going to make them crooked because then I don't have to be anal and trying and see if I have them straight. Like the guy with the bricks on his house that I told you about yesterday. That my husband couldn't tell. So thankfully, we're getting our brickwork done by somebody else. Because if he couldn't even tell, who knows how, what ours would look like. Just as long as he can't hear me right now. I'm going to have her standing on top of the rocks. And... Cute, cute, cute. You know, I told everybody that I'm not going to buy clip art because you can get so much of the free stuff online. However, I have found that um, there is some really, really, really cute stuff out there. And the DPI is typically 300 
which on clip art is all it needs to be. It's a little bit different than the way we look at it. When I say about the high resolution, having a thousand or over or over. And so I can print these basically in any size and they don't get blurry. Because one of the things that I'm going to start doing is some of the parties that I want to do, the party themes, I'm going to be using clip art. Um, and making them into centerpieces and snack boxes and banners and um, do some, so it's just out of the ordinary um, party things. The next one is going to have a little doggy. And as you'll notice, I put the glossy essentials in the eyes of all of them because I love that look. Got the little blonde boy, got the little girl with the ice cream cone. And this one, I've got the blue paper in the background. It's just like the red, but in blue. And I'm doing the red six inches, the blue five inches, and the white four inches. A little bit different shade of blue, but um, this it's really a, a, a royal, a true royal blue. And what I have is more navy, but it goes just fine. I am totally okay with it. I tell you, getting all these sets of pages made up, I better find some pictures in here that will fit these, <laughs> these pages. Um, Let's see here, now I'm going to attach this, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to use my guide right from the bottom, I'm going to line it up right at the top of the white line down here, so it looks like a bow stitching right underneath, and it didn't line up good so at the top, so this paper wasn't, I don't know why that happened, maybe mine was cut off a, a hair, since I didn't plan it that way, I shouldn't have brought it up, shouldn't have mentioned it. Let me see here. I'm going to lay this between these two bits of stitching. And that bit, uh, sort of, didn't get it all the way to the end, but I don't want to risk tearing it, so I'm just going to snip it off from the back. And I'm going to put the clouds on this one to do, except I'm going to bring this cloud over a little bit. These clouds look like they're white, but they're kind of... Um, there's some off-white, you can't tell on camera, but they're not white-white, and they almost look like they've got a little bit of um, inking around the edges. I didn't do that, that's the way they came, but I really, really like it. <clears throat> and let's see, we're gonna put this one up here. And then I'm gonna put the sun, I think I'm gonna pop dot that sun. And you know, I'm going to have to make a run. I'm running out of pop dots, which I cannot believe, because normally I have thousands of pop dots. And I opened my last bottle of um, Glossy Essentials. So guess who's going to be doing a haul this weekend? I'm going to take what I did on this border. See all the rocks down here and all the wild grass and things. I absolutely love these. But what I did is I did an offset on it. And with the offset, it made it smoother because it doesn't cut through and eliminate all the white anyway. But I'm putting it on a white sheet of paper and it cut out a thousand times better using an offset instead of just letting it cut out like that first piece because that one had a lot of tears. Did not like that at all. I really like these borders so that they have, um, I like the colors that they add. So I'm going to put this down here. It's got the pansy flowers down here. Too cute. I just love these. I think they're so, so cute and I think they add so much to the page. Now on this one, I think I'm going to put her down at the end. I hope I make it through this page with my pop dots. 
Boy, hear my phone going off? Somebody wants to talk to me bad. It's not my phone. Somebody's messaging me. They're going to have to wait. I hope that they don't watch this tonight and know it's them that's trying to reach me and I'm ignoring them. And I'm going to put him standing on top of that rock. Little boys always have to stand on top of rocks. I'm thinking of my Will. Because Will would definitely be on top of the rock. Yes, he would. Okay. I don't remember if I told everybody that my three-year-old grandson and my five-year-old granddaughter Kendall and Will did the ice bucket challenge yesterday. Cutest thing. It's on my it's on my um, Facebook. But it was just the cutest thing to watch that three-year-old little boy stand up there and mention who he challenged and dump the bucket of water on him. And then my granddaughter had done it as well and challenged her mommy who has yet to have done it. Um, but she, after she dumps a bucket on herself, she's like, I don't care if it's cold. Oh, it's not even cold. Just, I think she was <laughs> in shock when the water hit her. Her reaction was just too cute. I don't care if it's cold. Oh, it's not even cold. She was just too funny. I think she was a little bit dazed and confused afterwards. But um, some gay who had written on the, on, on a, he did his, his challenge. He said he wasn't going to do it and made some very, very rude, nasty, foul mouth remarks on it and said that it was a big waste and they, they make absolutely nothing from this, these worthless types of things that we, they do. And they have, I believe the last count, because of this ice challenge, they have raised for ALS over $13 million. That is just an all-time record. And I was going to send the guy that made the nasty remarks on YouTube a, a crow in the mail, but he's probably full of crow already. I'm sure that anybody that knew him had said, said, made comments about his remarks that he made on YouTube. Totally unnecessary. Follow him out or on Facebook. Absolutely. Follow this mouth. Sometimes I, I cannot understand why some people have to say and write such nasty things on YouTube for everybody to see. I guess I'm old school. I just wouldn't do that. I know I'm not a good goody two shoes, but I am old school. I find that rude. Okay, done. Let's see what we got here. And there we go. There is a 4th of July. And I will take some still shots. And then I think I have one more layout to do tonight. Um, so I will be back.